Euclid's Division Lemma. Though it sounds like a tough one, but it is the same division method you came across in class 6 and 7. Let us consider an example to understand it easily. Suppose you have 20 balls and you are requested to put them in a box. But the condition is that only 12 balls we can put in the box. So after placing 12 balls inside the box, only 8 balls will be left. If we explain the same by division method, then we can say 20 divided by 12, where 20 is the dividend, 12 is the division, we get the quotient 1 and remainder 8. Or 20 is equal to 12 into 1 plus 8. That is, dividend is equal to division into quotient plus remainder. It can be expressed alphabetically as a is equal to b into q plus r. For given positive integers a and b, there exists unique integers q and r, where r is greater than equal to 0 and less than b. This proven statement is Euclid's division lemma. Using the Euclid's division lemma, we can determine the SCF of two numbers. The condition is that the remainder must be equal to 0. The division will be the SCF of the given numbers if the remainder is 0. If you are asked to find the SCF of two numbers, then how will you find it? We calculate SCF by using two methods, by prime factorization and by division. Using prime factorization method, let us find the SCF of 30 and 15. 30 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5, 15 is equal to 3 into 5. 3 and 5 are the common factors of 30 and 15, so the SCF will be 3 into 5 equal to 15. If we use the division method, then dividing 30 by 15, we get 2 quotient and 0 as remainder. That is 30 equal to 15 into 2 plus 0. Since the remainder is 0, so the divisor 15 will be the SCF. In this method, when remainder is 0, then we can find out the SCF very easily. But what will happen if R is not equal to 0? Again, consider the example of 20 balls. Find the SCF of 20 and 12. Dividing 20 by 12, we get 1 as quotient and remainder will be 8. Now, repeating the division by taking 12 as dividend and 8 as division, we get 4 as remainder. Again, taking 4 as division and 8 as dividend, continue the division process. And finally, we get remainder 0. Since remainder is 0, the condition is satisfied. The last division 4 will be the SCF of 12 and 20. In our real life, we see interesting use of mathematics. Let's take an example. Suppose in a wall of length 20 meter and of breadth 12 meter, square size tiles are to be fit. What is the length of the side of the maximum square tile which can be used to fill the wall? In this wall, the greatest square shape tile can be fit in is 12 by 12 meter square. After fitting it, 8 by 12 meter square space will be left up. Mathematically, 20 is equal to 12 into 1 plus 8. Now, 8 by 12 meter square will be covered by 8 by 8 meter square tile. And 4 by 8 meter square space will be left out. Mathematically, 12 is equal to 8 into 1 plus 4. Now, 4 by 8 meter square space will be covered by 2 4 by 4 meter square tiles. Mathematically, 8 is equal to 4 into 2 plus 0. We have seen the remainder is 0. That means the complete wall is covered by equal square tiles of size 4 by 4. Thus, by using Euclid's division lemma, we can find ACF and we can solve some situations from our real life.